Welcome back YouTube, it is White Wolf Gaming and we are here with a brand new game, War Tales. Read a lot about this game, looks like a lot of fun, so I thought what a better way of showing it off than putting it on the channel. I also want to take a moment to thank you all because we are getting so close to 100 subscribers, it's unbelievable to me. was not expecting to be this far on my channel already, so I do appreciate you all. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Okay, I did put a little bit of effort into this game already, so I have a little bit of an idea of what I'm doing. I already know I want to be a young farmer looking for a better life. I also want to be one with nature because it gets us to happiness. And then I want to also be an eternal dissatisfaction because we're going to lose one of those happinesses. But they do balance out quite nicely. All right, everything else needs to stay the same here. So let's go ahead and start. All right, so I went through and created all of our characters, got them set up, renamed them so I can actually say them. We have Mitigation, our tank, Tagara, our spearman, Exactus, our archer. Volomir, our second spearman, and then we also have our pony named Donkey. Let's go ahead and begin this adventure. At the beginning, ah, the fresh scent of the morning breeze filled with the delicate tang of the nearby stables. A good old-fashioned tavern brawl, where the furnishings make for perfect weapons. Born and raised in the countryside, your companions know the value of simpler things in life. But to make it in this world, one must take risks and go far afield in search for fame and fortune. Just be careful not to lose what you value most along the way. That is to say, your shoes all right here we are gonna move around by just clicking the mouse because we got some goods over here to collect possible bandits right here let's go see if we can collect these goods as well nope they want to attack us let's see if we'll make their time nope we gotta fight some bandits all right let's go ahead and fight pretty simple early on i do want to make sure my archer is kind of in the background let's go ahead and uh drag and drop him here and here just get him a little bit closer to what's going on back here from there, we are playing as Dagara, so let's move in and see if we can't engage this, sp I believe he's an assassin, dual wielder. There we go, nice little hit. There's supposed to be two of them. I don't see the second one yet. Let's go ahead and move in Volomir as well. Try keeping him on the back side here, just so my archer does have a clean shot if we need to get to that point. Very nice. He's going to attack, which he's going to apply a poison on our character. All right, let's see if we can't get moved in here and perform a nice little overhead bash. Nice, there was some good damage. So the real question is, is can I get to a point to where I can land this shot? I run a risk of 44% here, 25% there, and only 31% here, so I'm going to hold off on firing that arrow. There is their archer way over here. Looks like he might have a shot on Dagara. Yes, he was. Took out the armor as well as a little bit of actual health damage. Let's see if we can't move in here, though, and try to actually take out... Let's put the damage on their archer. Have a good old-fashioned archer battle. Looks like they're... Oh, no, nope. I'm still on Dagara here, so let's do a nice little attack. Get him engaged on us. Taking some point poison damage. Support. Surround an engaged enemy unit with two allies to get a bonus. Nice. Okay. So I believe that he has received some defensive bonuses because we're so near to him. Let's see if we can't just... Oh, wow. That was brutal. There we go. Everybody's super happy we killed somebody. I like it. Let's see if we can't... Uh... I want to stay out of my archer's way as well. Taking some poison damage. We'll move up Volomir. I don't know if he's going to be able to attack. He will. Good chunk of damage at 10 there. And now it's Archer's turn. I'm okay with him going after mitigation. He's designed to take the damage. Just out of range, but let me see if I can't move over here and engage one time. And a pitchfork to the stomach. That cannot feel good. All right, we have successfully beat our first mission. We're going to go ahead and loot everything. Looks like we got some grease as well as some gold or some crowns. We're also going to go ahead and repair everything. That's using up our raw materials. We do want to make sure we get some of that as we go. And it does look like Volomir leveled up. So this reminds me, I need to go through and actually set our professions for everybody. Let's jump in though and take a look at the aptitude points. I think for him, I would like to... Oh, wait, no, this is for Volomir. Hold up. I was saying this for my tank. Let's go ahead and increase. We're going to go ahead and increase the strength on him. And then 
let's choose the Valorous Audacity. That way, every time he's engaged in an enemy but doesn't take damage, or every time he is fighting an enemy but is not taking damage, he will earn, uh, I forget what that's called, but it's basically action points to use your special abilities. Okay, while I'm thinking about it, let's jump up here and just make everybody a tinkerer for the time being. Just like so. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and continue on. Grab this iron ore and head down to the stable. Okay, we are approaching the stable here. All right, so we can talk to a couple people. What I want to do first is interact with this barrel and hit steal. What that's going to do is also unlock my new profession, Thief. So I can change out a couple people to that. I don't really need anything either, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's talk to Warness. When I think of how many people don't shoe their horses, it makes me want to pull out the little hair I have left. Tell you what, buy a horse from us and I'll throw in the horseshoes for free. That's good to know. I definitely don't have the crowns to buy it. Let's talk to Martin Guard. Though the war in Iteran has been a boon for my business, I cannot help but feel for my poor horses. I can tell you aren't soldiers. Take them with you if you can, otherwise they would most likely end up dead on the battlefield through no fault of their own. That's just very sad, but they also cost 180 some crowns and I don't have it, so... Let's go ahead and exit the building. Now from here, I think I'm gonna follow this path north and let's see what kind of trouble we can get into heading this way. So we got some possible bandits up here. So let's just continue walking and see if they want to fight us. Looks like they do. Where's um refugees? We'll toss them out ourselves. We'll toss them all out. Yeah, I've been drinking. We all have. How'd you know? You see us or something? Poof. Never mind. Leave us be. We've got refugees to clear out of Tilteran. I want to go ahead and attack. I don't like the fact that they're trying to kick refugees out. I don't know if I should or not. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna try taking advantage of this bear trap here by putting Exactus on this side of it. And he's gonna shoot this failing soldier. And then I'm, hopefully these three can work on taking out these two. So who is my first person here? It looks like it's my archer. Let's go ahead and start the shot there. And we'll go ahead and skip past that. Next person is gonna be my tank. I think I'm gonna try to move on this side of that tank. Okay, so now they're gonna move in. Let's come up behind here, I think. These are some pretty strong guys, so I'm a little weary that we're gonna struggle with it, but we'll see how we do. I really want to hope in this guy moves towards him. He doesn't. Not what I was hoping for. Valor points. That's what those icons are called. Okay, we did some good damage there. Hopefully this will still still not dead yet. The Gara took a good chunk of damage there. Mitigation's still doing all right because he's engaged in combat as well. Let's go ahead, though, and... Oh, I can't finish him off because I'm engaged here. Let's, uh... I want to be careful of that trap here. All right, I figured I was going to hit him in the end, but that's all right. The guard just took a good chunk of damage. Let's try this again here. What I didn't want to have happen was a hit mitigation. I wasn't expecting to. But we should be able to finish off the foot soldier now. I should have put the ammo. I should have just put the attack right here. The guard got hit up again. Hopefully we don't lose him here. Mitigation's getting nice and hurt. This might have been a fight we shouldn't have picked. Just gonna try working our way through it here. Nice little damage there. Is he gonna go after Dagara or after Volomir? Oh wait, it's uh I'm up. Let's step here and engage with this guy. Dagara took another big hit there. I could probably... 
finish this guy off. Nice. Okay. Did some good crit damage there. That worked out well for us. New round is starting. So it's my archer again. There we go. And let's just step in here and see if we can't finish off the phalanx. And we can. Awesome. That was a little scary. That's a little bit closer than I wanted it to be. Mitigation and Dagara did take quite a bit of damage. Looks like is he he's got uh fractures. Damage is halved. Okay. So we definitely want to make sure we repair all as well as heal all. And we should be good to go. Also, looks like we got a shield. So we'll give that to mitigation to make his defense a little bit better. And exact is leveled up. Let's take a look at this. So I think I'm gonna make it so he gains valor every time he kills an enemy. And then let's add to that. What does willpower do? Use to boost the troops' moral and uh, morale. All right, we're gonna go ahead and increase his crit hit chance. And then from there, we'll both choose the next. Uh, once he levels up again, we'll both choose his next skill. Perfect. Let's continue on. What I do want to do though is jump over here to mitigation and add in this shield because it is a little bit better. Nice. Let's continue moving. There's a salt mine here, but you do have to pay to get into it, which I'm not going to worry about that for right now. Okay, we are coming up to the farm here. We got a locked box up there, and we got uh, somebody really sad here, and there's some blood. We can cut some wood if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and just talk to this person, though. How could they? We didn't even put up a fight, and they still killed our precious Lucilia. Mad with grief, her father chased after them toward the mill. I hope he caught up with them. These thieves don't deserve to live. Okay, so basically we have to head towards the mill and see if we can find those thieves, but it is on to day two, 11 hours, so I'm going to go ahead and sleep right over here in these woods. Let's look at our workshop here, and uh, we'll use... We're going to use mitigation as our actual full-on tinkerer. So let's create a couple lockpicks. Awesome. And then from there, let's go ahead and open up our fire pit here so we can create a meal right click twice there and right click three times there so two apples and three pieces of bread for their food and let's go ahead and rest there we go we get an extra two valor points and the troops are well rested this kind of breaks down our morale or happiness right now we are up to eight which is great let's go ahead and leave the camp so we see some bandits up here. Let's go ahead and get into a fight with them. Not really afraid to fight people. I don't know if that's a bad idea or not. Okay, so it looks like their archer's back here. Our archer's is there. There is four of them. I really don't want you chilling here, though. So we're going to go like this. And I think I want to do it just like that. So mitigation's out front up here. Hopefully to pull a lot of these guys away from them. And actually, let's do more like this. Because then I might be able to take out that poacher easy, more easily. Okay, so who's first here? It is our... It is Volomir that's going to be first here. Let's rush up and see if we can't get a nice little attack on. So one thing to keep in mind, which I failed there, is you don't want to actually attack close to him. Because you don't do as much damage. You just end up pushing them back. So let's see. I'm going to step out... We're going to focus on this guy heavily first. There's a nice 7 damage, which is good. This archer, I'm hopefully protecting Exactus there. Nice. Mitigation took all the damage is what we're going for. Looks like this guy got stepped into something that poisoned him as well. Nope, it's just me that... Oh, both of us are poisoned. So, yeah. So if I step back here further, which I'm actually going to come up here and do it. If I stand further away, we do more damage. That's kind of the goal there is what we're wanting to do. Okay, so we could come down here. It looks like finish off this individual with a swing across the face. That could not feel good. And that turn. I do know I can use space bar. I don't know why I keep failing to do that. Arrow to the back one did five damage. That's okay. Uh, let's put mitigation on the opposite side here. Do a nice little swing. Another five damage. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I messed that up. I disengaged, which I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to gain a little bit of distance here. Because I did 12 damage by doing that. 
but he also took a good chunk of damage. So I bet he's going to be going after Dagara. It's alright, because he had the armor to take it. Let's step you out here. And in doing so, you should go finish off this hoodlum. Nice. Gain those valor points. Which it looks like I could actually come over here maybe and potentially heal. Not quite close enough. Okay. Let's move you in up here. Gara's then gonna take a nice spear damage. Was too close. I gotta remember not to do that. Mitigation took the damage, but he's out of armor. Now I should be far enough away. There we go. That was eight damage versus three damage that time. Much better. Let's step over here. Let's see if we can take out the majority of this poacher now. One poacher remaining, taking the damage towards the wall. So he's getting a little hurt here, but I think we're going to be okay. We're going to send down mitigation to do a little bit of damage to the face. Good five damage. And let's send down Volomir as well to see if we can't finish off. And here's that mistake I made again. I got too close. It's not doing as much damage, but did push him back. Take the poison, poison damage there. The guard took a little bit of damage to his health, but not awful. And there was a nice crit to kill off that poacher. And then we might as well move him up here, get closer to killing off this poacher as well. The guard took four damage, but we should be able to let's stay far enough away. And we should be able to finish off this poacher with nine damage. Okay, awesome. We were able to succeed. We did get a nice bow as well, so we'll be using that and a dagger. Not sure who's going to be using that. Let's go ahead and loot everything. Let's repair everything. And then let's level up Dagara. I'm going to go ahead and increase Dagara's strength. Hoping to increase that damage. I'm going to stick with... I'm going to go ahead and stick with the same exact one here. Valorous Audacity. Not sure if that's a good idea or not. But I do feel like I'm not going to be engaged in combat as much as other people. So that is great. Let's look at Exactus here and see how much better this bow is. It is better. So let's go ahead and equip it here. So now I get Vicious Shot, which will knock them back. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. We are well rested. Here is that mill that uh, he ran off to with the thieves. Not sure what that is down there. Got some hay. Let's go ahead and grab that wheat. Inspect this barrel up here. Looks like we got some mosquitoes and some salt, as well as some crowns. A wooden statue. Very nice. And then let's go ahead and talk to Hakurt. He, he killed everyone. A real madman. I'm injured. Help me. So I could heal him. I'm not really sure what happened to heal him. He is one of the thieves, but I'm going to try healing him and see what happens here. Thank you. I still can't believe that Ricky used us as bait. He was the one to blame up, not us. Okay, interesting. If he hadn't killed that little girl to steal her necklace, her father wouldn't have fought back and my friends would still be alive. Take me with you. I have a score to settle with that traitor. Okay, so cool. We can actually recruit him. Last time I played this, just as I was testing, I ended up killing him, so that didn't work out too good. So he has a rusty shiv. Actually, let's go ahead and switch it out to a dagger. That way he can poison. And then it looks like all these are the same. I'm going to go ahead and take Valorous Support. And then let's go ahead and increase that critical hit chance just like so all right so now we have five people in our party let's go ahead and leave i think i looted everything i could I see something down here but i'm not sure what that is i don't know if i really want to risk going that way let's head up this way though and see if we can find any more stuff to loot i'm still not sure how to tell how rested we are when we need to rest next we're gonna grab this iron ore and we might as well start heading back down this way Debate if I want to follow this path back around or maybe take this path off into a different direction. I think what we'll do is we'll take this path and see where it leads to. Looks like we're seeing some type of house 
old Wilbert's Sheepfold. Let's take a look in here and see what this is. So somebody in purple like this does have a quest for us. Let's inspect these things. Some pretty nice stuff, pork and whatnot. Let's go ahead and talk to the quest giver. My parents were sheep farmers back in Edoran. When I brought them to this abandoned sheepfold, their tired faces lit up, and I saw hope in their eyes for the first time since we left. Unfortunately, we've just learned that this building belongs to a man called Wilbert. I would like to meet him and convince him to let us stay here. But I would feel safer if mercenaries such as you could escort me. The good people of Tilteran do not look kindly upon us refugees. I fear this Wilbert person might become violent or refuse to even listen to me. I am willing to give you all I have for my parents' safety. Let's go ahead and accept it, because I think we can get this done. Okay, thank you. I will meet you there. So it showed us on the map where it's going to be at. We're going to go ahead and head off this way to see if we can finish up this quest. All right, so here is Old Wilbert's Fishery. Why refuse? We are sheep farmers. If you would just let us stay in the sheepfold, we could. Absolutely not. I inherited this barn from my sister. I will not let anyone take it from me. But you are not even using it. You are a fisherman. What use would you have for a sheepfold? That is none of your business. I will do as I please with my property, and I will do what I must to protect it from raiders. Okay, so clearly he's not happy about that. Go ahead and talk to this guy. What's it to you if I use the sheepfold or not? That has nothing to do with it. The pile of rubble is mine. That woman has no right to stay there and is making a fuss. I'll pay you handsomely if you make her leave. Let's try to bribe. I don't think this is a good idea, but I really don't want to be in the middle of this, and I'll just go ahead and use up 100 of my money. Ha! But if you want to buy the sheepfold, that's a whole other story. That pile of rubble is all your or theirs for all I care. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk to this person. Has he accepted? Oh, blessed by all seeing eye. You cannot imagine what this new home means for the three of us. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. I have to go. I must tell my parents the wonderful news. They will be thrilled. Okay, so we didn't get any money for that, but we did get a medallion, which it looks like I can put that. So willpower, let's go ahead and give that to Exactus. Nice. I might sell it if I, if I get low on money, but we'll see here in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and exit out of here. I'm debating if I should go back to the sheepfold. No, we're just going to continue on. Let's grab this wood, and we'll continue on. Let's take a look at our map, though, real fast. Let's head back. It looks like there might be another quest here. I think once we finish this off, I'll come back around. I think there's a city up here. So it looks like the refugee camp has heard of what I've done, and they want to meet me. So, it's back off in this area here. The refugee leader awaits you in the haven. So, we're going to head up there and see what that looks like. I do need to probably camp for the night here real soon. Let's go grab this wood and camp up here. We're probably going to be woken up here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go ahead and get into a fight here and see how it goes. It's just two of them? I think we can handle it. Alright, so you're going to come in here and go ahead and do us some nice little damage. Nice. Got him poisoned. Let's move you into this guy. Oh, I got too close again. I gotta remember not to do that. Come up here now. I should be able to beat this guy in the face. Nice little chunk of damage. Alright, four damage. Now he can go over there and attack again. It must be because he has two weapons. And that definitely hurt. So I think what I'll do is I'll come in about right there. And now hit him in the back. There we go. A little bit better damage. And then let's hopefully be able to reach this shot. Nice. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty violent shot there. Looks like... Not sure what's going on with that. Let's move this guy up a little bit closer again. I have a 22% chance to hit my own guy. I'm just going to do damage to the guy I know I can't hit for sure. And then let's... Try to take him out. We'll move over here and do some poison damage to this guy. So I think what's going to happen is he's going to actually attack this way, which... Now he's targeting. So yeah, if we keep moving like that, I don't think he's ever going to be able to get the attack off. Let's go up here. I'm too close. Let's back up just a little bit. Actually, let's back up just a little bit more. I think there's a special spot you can be to do the most damage. Like That was nine damage right there. So I think I can reach him from here. 
Nice. Well, Hackard's definitely getting messed up here. But I do think I can take this guy out, which is good. So I don't need to worry about that attack anymore. And if I can somehow... I think from here I can hit him. Nice. Alright, we finished that off. Hackard took some damage, but other than that, it wasn't too bad of a fight. Let's go ahead and repair all and heal all. I'm getting a little low on medicine. Just hoping to get more armor or weapons out of that because they were wearing it. And the mitigation also leveled up. So I do want to use the Vanguard as we just rush in and do some damage. And then let's go ahead and increase his constitution as well. And we're going to select Vanguard. Very nice. Okay. Let's continue on. So I think now I can rest again. Uh, maybe not. I think that used up my... I think I'm going to go ahead and leave, because... Unfortunately, that didn't work out too well for me. I found something on the road here to inspect. Looks like some venison. Very nice. I will definitely take that. We need it. Getting low on food. Right now, we are just making our way over to this quest giver. We have a total of 76 wages in one hour that's not good i definitely don't have the money for that i don't know if this is a bad guy up here or who this is i don't think that's where i'm needing to go we might have to fight this guy see what happens we talk to him lucilla i'll kill them all okay so he's the father that's where he's at i don't think i want to fight him i'd be kind of messed up he just lost his daughter looks like we're coming across the haven which must be where all the refugees are at let's just go ahead and talk to fergus though ah mercenaries just in the nick of time Welcome to the Haven. My name is Fergus. I am the former Lord Mayor of Cordia, and I now lead the refugees. As you have discovered, the locals haven't exactly welcomed us with open arms. I have therefore decided to move our people to this cold and isolated wasteland, but it seems that this is still not far enough for the Lady Mayoress of Stromcap. Take our woodcutter camp, for example. We are need wood to fortify our new home and survive the winter months. But the local farmers have been harassing us ceaselessly. I fear the worst. We haven't heard from our woodcutters in several days. There's a bad grammar in there for sure. Hence the reason for your presence here. The situation could be far too dangerous for the humble farmers we are. I need mercenaries to find out what happened to our men. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Thank you, the woodcutters are just north of here. I need money. I mean, that's more of what I need. Looks like we just found a tower here. I'm gonna go check it out. Three hoodlums and two poachers, all level ones. Let's fight them. So they're all over here. Three of them are over here, two of them are here. That actually kind of works out in my favor. We're gonna go something like this. Okay, it is his turn to fight too, so perfect. Nice little shot there. These guys are gonna start moving in. It'd be nice to hit one of these uh, or something here. I don't think that's close enough for me to do that. Let me step over here. And can I charge? Nice. And then let's beat this dude in the face. And then let's step up here. I'm gonna see if I can just take out one of these. I'm actually gonna take out this one. Very nice. And can I do enough? Ooh, close. Wish I would have critted, but that's all right. Is he poisoned? No, he's not. My guy's poisoned now, though. Here comes two more. So two po poachers and a hoodlum. We should be all right. Let's go ahead and just step in here and finish this guy off real fast. Surrounded. Surrounded an engaged enemy unit with two allies to get a bonus. I'm not going to read those. All right, let's finish off this dude. There we go. And let's start... Uh... You can't move any farther. I'd like to get to that spear before one of them do. Oh, you're too crowded there. It's all right. We'll move around. I don't think that's close enough. Not quite. Although I'm in range of the archers now. That's unfortunate. There we go. Using that ability to pull that off, that worked out quite well. And he'll take the bundle of the damage. Nice. 
keep moving up our troops. Just wait right there. Exactus definitely can't move as far as everybody else. That's all right. He just ran through that trap. Very nice, took three damage. Keep moving him around. All right, so was, I think mitigations can get double poisoned here, but that is okay. Let's charge through him like so and turn around and beat him in the face. Very nice. Uh-oh. I don't like the fact that he's probably going to take an arrow to the back. Sorry, it only has five damage. That's not bad. Not quite close enough. Let's just step up a little bit and finish him off with a pitchfork to the gut. All right, and then let's uh, let's push these guys back a little bit. I think. I think you're in range. Ooh, you are nice. Fifteen damage. Nice little crit. Uh, no, I don't. Sorry, I want to end their lives. And I just got way too close, but that's alright. Push him back. There's still 15 damage, though. And we can finish him off right here. Awesome! So that was uh, five of them that we killed. We did take a little bit of damage on mitigation. Your group is overtired. Your companions might die of exhaustion if you keep walking. You really should rest. Okay, we'll make sure we do that. Let's go ahead and loot everything. Is there anything that we can loot in here? Let's go ahead and unlock it. There we go. A hunter's cloak, a lucky charm, and a military report. Just make sure there's nothing else. Oh, here we go. More stuff to unlock. That was easy. That was easy. Nice. So we got some more food, which we definitely needed. So I think what we're going to do is come up here and set up camp. They're not going to be happy with us because we do not have the money to pay them but we will make sure we get them paid as soon as possible. And I do want to finish off this quest up here. Here's the woodcutter's camp. Huh? The chief is worried about us? And so he should be. The locals are getting more vindictive by the minute. They harass us, and we haven't enough men to send a message, and what? Watch out, the farmers are back. You there, mercenaries. Since the chief sent you, hurry up and join our lads outside the camp and stop these from getting in. What do you want now? Don't you have anything better to do than harass refugees? Even if you would adore himself, you couldn't cut down those trees. What do you mean? What is it to you if we cut those trees instead of any others? The Mount Atlas forest is sacred. It has belonged to the tools since the dawn of time. If you upset the little folk, they will attack all the surrounding settlements, including ours and your haven. Don't be absurd. The tools aren't even real. They're just fairy tales. We won't freeze to death over some imaginary pixies. How dare you? For the eye's sake, go and tell your hallucinations to move out. There's no lack of trees in this country. Mercenaries, did you hear that? Name your price and give those blasphemies the punishment they deserve. The tools will be most grateful. We're gonna go for the refugees, so I'm gonna attack. Yeah, we're gonna attack over here. Hopefully I'm doing that right. Who's my first one, Exactus? All right, let's go ahead and just take a shot there. Nice. Took a little bit of damage, but I think we're gonna be okay. Step up here and do a little bit of poison damage as well. 10 damage, very nice. Oh, is he gonna come in and do a little bit of damage? Nice, I like it. Volomir just took a shot from that bow, holy cow. Trian. So he must be the, the leader from the other other group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over here, bash him in the face, and then I'm going to charge through. There we go. 
Should keep them distracted onto me. Very little damage he did to me. I must have missed the charge on him. Volomir's taking a good chunk of damage here. Which means I have to fight him. He's double poisoned, so he should die real soon. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and do some damage to this guy. Just because I don't need him taking any more damage right now if I can help it. He is almost dead. I'm okay with him taking a shot on Dagara. That's, that's totally okay with me. He is just completely running off. Wow, he has a lot of movement. Finish this guy off. Nice and simple. There he did a good chunk of damage to me. Just go ahead and just hit him. And then Dagara's going to get hit here. Better than Volumir right now, though. Okay. Keeping the damage going. He's single poisoned. Should keep rolling it on the switch soldier here. Nice chunk of damage. Mitigation's fighting hard there. I like that. Dagara's now getting pretty hurt. Push him back. What I'm going to do is just charge through like so. He should die here now. Where are you going to go? So you're taking your shot on Anthus. Five damage there, and you're moving right into the middle of everything. Okay, that wasn't very smart, my guy. Because now I can come up here, finish you off. Everybody's happy about that. Finish him off, so we have two guys left. This foot soldier won't take long. Light damage to mitigation. I'm really nervous about this one. Volomir is getting dangerously low in health. But we were able to finish him off, thankfully. Nope, I want to fight this out. We don't give up that easy. Because it was that simple. 17 damage right there. That's awesome. Okay, the war is done. Let's loot everything we can. We've got some rope too, which is good because it means we can capture some people. We need to heal everybody, which is cost us a total of two. We don't have enough raw materials to heal. Donkey leveled up though. Hold up. Here you go, Donkey. Um, let's increase your carrying capacity. So now what? Do we just go back to this camp? All right, here we go. All this talk of tools was driving me mad. It was high time someone talked some sense into them. Here is your reward. I'll be sure to let the chief know we're safe now. You've cleared the way. Let's run down to the haven here and just see if there's anything we can do from there. All right, so I found somebody to sell some stuff to here. All right, I'll make sure we equip that. Is there any type of food we can buy? There is some medicine, so let's go ahead and buy that. I'll make sure I have enough to pay my wages, which I do. All right, well, with that being said, I think this is the perfect time to end the episode. So once again, I want to thank you all for your support. You guys have been amazing. So close to that 100 subscribers, which I can't believe. So if you haven't already, please do like the video and subscribe because it does really help me out. And I'll be hopefully putting up another video real soon.